ahead and change out my the coffee table for this like desk thing that I found in the bedroom closet the closet that I use as a uh, bed I mean the bedroom I use as a closet while I'm here but yes I it's a little bit more nicer and I can pull up a chair sit here I have my my webcam back there I've discovered this artist mx2 m m m x min i don't know her name is maya she's really cool apparently she's from oakland but i discovered her on npr's tiny desk concert where she was actually performing at like the world's biggest desk and i don't know i don't know why exactly this was yesterday but i really felt her music then I just went into her YouTube videos and watched all her YouTube videos and like um, digital albums and I, I really approve. Yeah, basically I'm really into MX Tune. Found out or figured out she was streaming Minecraft yesterday so we watched a little bit of that and yeah I know I'm pretty pretty uh, much a fan of her now. I really appreciate her music it's weird i haven't been into that type of music for a long time but for some reason her tunes speak to me maybe one day i'll create a dance to them they are a really good like music to use for combinations and dancing like you know lyrical like i'm picturing a lot using a lot of this music in my lyrical classes my lyrical contemporary intermediate intermediate advanced maybe we'll get advanced but you know it's been like a few months since you know we actually were taught and we're teaching in the studio so we'll work up to Right, hello is what time is it? I don't know. It's the afternoon, but the important thing is that I got called sub today at 6 p.m. to do like a beginning intermediate jazz class over Zoom. So we gotta do that today and yeah. Um other news is that there's potential that we might go back into being in person for teaching so that would mean you know changing my schedule of being here in this cottage a little bit different 
but we will get to that when that time comes. It's just a little bit stressful because it's like so up in the air. Like cases are going down and like restrictions are lightening, which is good. But then it's also like, what to do exactly? Um, and it also makes me think about the projects that come after like reopening because you know, choreography needs to be made and music choices need to be selected and um, videos need to be produced but like not including just me. Like other people need to be involved. So we'll, we'll deal with that as the time comes. Hello, friends, family, my clothes in the corner. Um, yeah, I, my friend was like, I want pastels for my dance. And I'm like, cool, I don't have most of my dance clothes, but I have most of my real life clothes here. So let me pull what pastel options I have, except some of these pastels are more gem tone than pastel -y. But you know, pull them all, have options to show and be like, I have this. And then maybe um, something will be pulled and inspired. But we are 20 minutes away from my rehearsal starting. Well, more like 15, more like 18 at this point, 17. 17 minutes until my rehearsal is supposed to start. I have like everything material. It's always like a real fun time when you're out filming a video clip and then the battery dies, but all the material choreographically I have. It's just um, doing all the planning, writing out because I have to have something to turn in. So writing things out and talking about exactly what I'm doing and what I'm planning on doing um, is part of the process for this. So I know I haven't like done a vlog vlog clip in a week probably, but that's because I'm focusing on other stuff like streaming and uh, marinating, brainstorming about dance videos. But today, Saturday, February 27th, um, it's been a pretty productive trip productive chill i tried to say that at this exact same time and it did not work out well a productive and chill day so far um i woke up went to the tire store they didn't have my tires they're going to order it on monday or they ordered it it'll be here on monday so i'll go in on monday get my tires replaced which is good because the treading is showing on me one of my tires which is not good <laughs> and then came back and uh why is there a countdown I, oh i guess the video is still going i am editing a video because what we did after the tire store was um practice with the gimbal and video camera and dance movement because um yeah, just getting back into the swing of using the gimbal because that's kind of a skill set all of its own. Um, and I'm very thankful that I'm not using the gimbal. Dillinger's using the gimbal. And I just have to be there and be like, okay, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do this. And just be more director choreographer than ca additional cameraman on top of that. So, um, I did, we did two videos, or I made two videos from everything that we shot today. And then, um, just because I like to make things in my head, like, complete, I know I have this improv that I recorded a few months ago that kind of helped facilitate the inspiration for these two pieces that I made. So I'm gonna put that right in between them, sandwich the improv between the two um, dance concept videos that I made just to make it a full three-part dance film and then it'll be like around eight to nine minutes um, 
And I'm looking at the reflection in my glasses in the window behind me, and that's pretty entertaining. Anyways, um, yeah, so I'm just waiting for that video to upload to that to my Google Drive so I can download it off my Google Drive onto my computer, uh, put it into the program, and then export it and watch it, see how I feel, and if it's something I actually want to post. Who knows? Maybe not. Most, a lot of things do is not seen by the light of day, and I'm trying to get better at that. I'm trying to get better at um, actually <laughs> following through with the sharing of what I create, rather than just creating and then creating, creating, and finishing your product, and then just instead of uh, um, eating the fruits of your labor and basking in the glow of the accomplishment, you just, uh, I kind of just tend to move on. Um, but that's, you know, patience with creativity is the lesson I am teaching myself, so. Hi, hello, welcome. It is Sunday afternoon. Um, yeah, just kind of chilling out today, getting things around the house a little bit tidier and cleaner. But we did go to the grocery store um, this this day, today, and then stopped at the bookstore on the way home. So let's do a little book haul that I got. Um, I don't didn't plan on like getting any books, but I did. Um, but I was based, we were basically going to get Dillinger's, um, birthday slash Valentine's Day present because I have not yet to get, um, him that because, yeah, I really don't know where, <laughs> I don't know, I didn't know where else to get it, the magazine that he wanted and I didn't want to subscribe it to him because, like, living situations, very clueless right now, but, um, so we're just gonna go every time this publication po get post something comes out with something so we can um buy it as part of his subscription to this magazine um, about photography anyways so that magazine is aesthetic um the art and cultural magazine and this is the december slash january 2021 issue and I really, I personally really like the um, front cover. I like that little kick he was doing. Um, but yeah, we, Dillinger's starting his little collection of that magazine. So we picked that up for him. He also chose to pick out a graphic design for everyone um, because he's interested in creating his own photography books. So he thought this would be a good reference for him to come back to and then for the books I ended up getting was the first book I picked up was Liar Temptress Spy Shoulder Spy by Karen Abbott and it was really just um I don't know in the history section thought it was a nice good book to add to my collection here um thought it went with the witches book that I picked up that I still haven't uh, finished because I'm not sure where I placed it, to be honest. <laughs> um, the second book is a poetry book called um, I Am the Rage by Dr. Martina McGowan, McGowan illustrated by Diana Egeta, Egeta. I am so sorry about my terrible pronunciation of names. I will go figure out how to pronounce your names um, and work on that. But I... Um, was just looking for a new poetry book that wasn't too thick. I was looking at other thicker poetry books, but they ended up being like $60. And I'm like, no, I don't have that kind of money today. Um, but the third book I got also in the poetry section, I don't know if it was just happened to be placed there on accident, um, or if it was like actually supposed to be there, but it was the only copy I found in that in w around where it was and it is latitudes and longing latitudes of longing by i'm sorry 
again, I will figure out how to pronounce this name and then get back to you, but it is a novel. It is, um, I don't know, just South Asian in slash Indian author. I think she lives in Mumbai. Yes, she lives in Mumbai and yeah. She is a writer, educator, her debut novel, bestseller, soon after its release in India, it won the Tata Live Your Live Award for its debut fiction, was so, so basically really good book. I really like the cover and it kind of matches this room, so I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so those are the three books I added to my collection, even though I'm struggling to get the books that I'm currently reading through with and I should really figure out where I put them. Um, so I'm gonna go do that and hopefully read a little bit. I'm not remembering when the last time I filmed a clip and I don't know if this clip is ending a video or starting a video, whatever it may be, hello or goodbye. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really needed, felt the need to, you know, film any clips or update a video camera about what I'm doing with life. This weekend was pretty chill. Dillinger left to go home yesterday, so he'll be there for like a week. Um, I go home on Thursday night after my classes end for the day. So we'll be back in the bay for a hot minute and now um, it's basically me living, splitting my time between here and there and try, trying to stay safe and all that jazz. And it's pretty exciting. I feel like life is starting to be livable again. I made my vaccine appointment for April 1st, which is going to get you sooner than I think, I think. Um, because I do have a month filled of projects that I need to get done. This weekend is actually pretty fun. So I'm going home on Thursday, going to go skiing or to do the snow um, on Saturday with Anastasia. And then Friday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we'll all be working on video dance related projects like um, getting the <laughs> like screen dance somewhat recorded and filmed and starting to play with cameras, movements and creating, you know, a visual masterpiece and a platter for the eyes. I um, am excited, yet I have no idea where I'm going with my piece. It's kind of like, at this point, I have most of the choreography made up and established like what I want to give my dancers and now it's just seeing what the dancers can give me back in response and for this project I already feel like it's going to be largely playing with the movement and visuals on the day of recording and filming and then putting it all together in the editing process to make it like logical and cohesive but I have been having a really enjoyable time at it um, haven't gotten to the point where I'm super stressed about it. I am pretty obsessive about it, but not stressed, which is good. Obsessive, not stressed. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, I've kind of like calmed down on uh, the past couple weeks since mm, two thirds of my dancers had other dance related school projects going on. So, you know, give them the space to complete that. I'm excited to continue working on our stuff and yeah, other than that, been trying to get through Metamorphoses by Ovid. I'm on book 13 right now. I'm really trying to finish this book today. It's 8.51 right now. My class is at 11. Don't think I'm going to finish the full, like, all the, all the books that I have left because I do have um, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Um, but I can definitely get through book 13 and maybe book 14. And then after West African class, I will hopefully, hopefully be able to 
not gonna sound like Prague, and then start my next book. I also have to make time to play Minecraft today and, you know, make some music.